I'm not sure if there's any walnuts in there. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Steph, behind the camera's Chris, and we are hungry to travel. Walnuts are a staple ingredient in many Georgian dishes. They're grown all over the country and have been for millennia, so it's no reason that their cuisine reflects this. Walnuts are also super rich in calories, so they've historically been used as a stand-in for meat for the peasantry, and they're still used a lot to this day as a fasting food during Lent. So today in Batumi, we're gonna try a few traditional Georgian dish dishes that really highlight the many uses of this versatile nut. Come on. We're headed now to a restaurant here in the old town of the city called Heart of Batumi, where we're gonna be trying Setsivi, a chicken dish with a thick garlicky walnut sauce, as well as piccoli which is pretty much like a vegetable mousse or pate that contains a similar walnut paste. And we'll look at the menu to check it out and see if there's any other walnut-based items that we can try. We're here now at the heart of Batumi and we've just ordered our satsivi and pakali. We saw on the menu that they have a baked eggplant in a walnut sauce, so we got that. And they also had dolma on the menu, which we haven't had a chance to try here yet in Georgia, so we've got that too. Looking forward to it all. We've got our dolma here, which is our stuffed grape or stuffed vine leaves. It looks really, really nice. It looks like there's a bit of like a cucumber, dill type of a slaw on top. So they look really nice, like a bunch of little chubby ones, so. Oh yeah. Wow, there's quite a bit of meat in there, which I'm a little surprised of because a lot of times the um, stuffed grape leaves have mostly rice with just a little minced meat or not much at all, so. Mmm. Oh, that's so nice. I'm not sure if that's is that beef, I think. I'll have to take another bite, but the mint in there is really, really nice and it's got some dill on top, which gives it such a lovely, lovely flavor. Yeah, that's beef. Um mm. and the slaw on top is lovely as well. They've got so much meat inside of them. Oh, and you can see the lovely leaves there. Such a nice soft texture. Mm. These are super, super tasty. So we have our pakali here, which looks lovely. I wasn't sure if it's gonna come in one big lump or a lot of little ones like this. So these look great with the little pomegranate seed on top as well. Makes it look really, really fun. So I think traditionally you just eat these on their own. Sometimes you can put them on bread or crackers I think is a spread but I think really they're just supposed to be eaten like this so they're really really quite soft and again just like a mousse or a pate but a vegetable one at that you can see the walnut paste in there as well as I'm gonna assume spinach most likely because these guys are green so let's try mmm well those have a lot of flavor of them. There's a lot of herbs and spices in there. And they have a bit of like a, a tang to them. That's really, really interesting flavor. Super, super flavorful. More so than I was expecting, actually. And the texture is really, really soft. The vegetables still have a little bit of a crunch to them, and I think some of the herbs that are in there as well. But the walnut paste is really, really nice and smooth. And these are served cold, as they again are kind of like a pate. They have a very earthy kind of taste to them, 
almost something like I think they used to make them with just kind of like weeds and things like that because it was a very popular peasantry food again so they have a really interesting kind of like an earthy taste to them probably with the walnuts and everything gives it that mm, these are really really nice I love these so our stuffed eggplant arrived and it looks beautiful the presentation is so so nice you have a huge dollop of what i think is the walnut sauce nice cheese baked over it all big piece of eggplant as well and i think it's stuffed with tomato in there it honestly smells like a garlic bread like a cheesy garlic bread is like what like the smell comes out with mm. trying the sauce mm get a little bit of that crunch and that graininess of the walnuts but that's really nice it's almost like a walnut yogurt taste kind of to it yeah so I think there's it's stuffed with tomato and topped with cheese it looks like so when I cut into it yeah put the eggplant in there with topped with cheese yeah and stuffed with tomato get a little bit of that walnut sauce mmm wow eggplant is baked to perfection nice and soft mm, so much flavor and yeah the cheese has parsley on it the tomato is like nice and hot so it's kind of like a cooked tomato and yeah it tastes really good everything everything with the walnut sauce mm, just gives it kind of like that walnut flavor to it like that nutty nuttiness to it wow that's a really good combo of all the ingredients the cheese it seems like Georgia here, the cheese, the cheese is so popular on everything, but it really, really adds to the taste and the texture of the, of the dish. Wow. Mm. The best part about the dish is definitely this walnut sauce, because, yeah, if you can see there, there's just like little pieces of like the walnut just dripping there. That's really, really nice. The combination of everything, wow. This is really good. So our final and ultimate walnut dish has arrived, Satsibi. So it's a chicken dish with a sauce, and I believe the sauce is also called Satsibi. And Sivi means cold, so usually the sauce is served cold, so I don't know if this dish actually is cold or hot but it's usually eaten in winter as, as a winter kind of dish and a lot of times around Christmas or New Year's, so which is perfect time for us. Oh, it's really, really smooth. Looks really, really nice. And you can see sort of the graininess from the walnuts in there. Oh, wow. Mm. It has quite a strong, actually, kind of like a curry flavor to it. Um, and also a little bit of bitterness, actually. That's really interesting. It's quite garlicky too, and cold. So the sauce is cold, So, but it, it feels a little warm, so I think maybe the chicken inside of there is warm. Oh, wow, these pieces of chicken are huge. Oh my goodness. Mmm, lovely piece of chicken, very juicy tender that is a piece of white meat maybe attached to a wing here it looks like I think this is gonna be something I might have to put onto another plate because I am really struggling here <laughs> let's just get some of this meat with the sauce mmm that's lovely meat still has its skin on as well I think it might have been roasted before it was put in the sauce and the chicken itself is hot and so it seems like they put the cold sauce over top of it so it kind of comes out a bit like the sauce is a bit warm so it's interesting kind of like the contrast between the hot and the cold mm. such a strong garlicky flavor as well as the walnut so lovely the walnuts really give it that really really creamy taste but 
such a nice smooth texture. They make the sauce so thick too, which is really, really nice. And give it that nice, subtle, nutty taste. Turns out, walnuts, super versatile, and you can put them in pretty much any type of food. I never really knew this. I don't cook with walnuts much, but it seems like something we should all be doing, because if you're not, you are losing out, apparently. <laughs> We were looking on the drink menu and we saw that they had a walnut cha-cha and cha-cha is the pomace brandy similar to Italian grappa liquor. So we thought we had to complete our walnut day with trying a walnut cha-cha. So I'm gonna have a little sip here and see if it actually tastes like walnuts. I don't taste any walnuts. It kind of just tastes like cha-cha, like a kind of like a vodka based liquor. I don't... No, I don't think I taste any walnut at all. So maybe it's just like a slight flavor of it, but in any case, here's to walnuts today. <laughs> So the waiter came over to me and handed me this awesome wig. Didn't really say a word and just kind of went like that. So I assume he meant you're supposed to drink cha-cha with this wig on, so. The chicken satsivi and the piccoli were 22 Georgian lari and 7 Georgian lari. So together with the stuffed eggplant and the walnut cha-cha and the dolma, Everything costs 61 and a half Georgian lari, which is about $25 Canadian or $20 USD. Turns out walnuts are a super versatile nut and it is no wonder that Georgians use them so much in their cuisine. Our meal here at Heart of Batumi was so delicious, really nutty, really, really garlicky, and I would for sure come back here again. If you enjoyed us showing you the versatility of walnuts here in Georgia, give us a thumbs up and click the like button below. Leave us a comment as we always love to hear from all of you. And if you haven't already, click that red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel to see more awesome videos like this one. We're hungry to travel. We'll see you next meal.